Hello and welcome to this two-part video series on building a realistic eye. This first video will be dedicated to building the actual eye itself, so building the model, and in the second video we'll look at setting up the uh, textures and materials and uh, all the rest of it to make it look realistic. So, creating a human eye is uh, pretty easy, so we're going to start off by creating a uh, sphere. Uh, something along these lines and uh, I want to right click and let's see which exit it's the um, x-axis I'm going to set this to 90 there we go and what this is going to give us is uh, this part of the eye right here so this middle section is actually going to be the eye itself so let's rename this to eye and I'm going to make a, a copy of this and press copy and I'm actually going to call this reflection. And uh, on the reflection, I'm going to use a push. So I'm just going to push this out just so slightly, maybe 0.1. If I go to the left, I can see just how much that's out. So that's fine. So I'm going to press P, go back to perspective and I'm going to hide the reflection for now. So what we need to build on now is the actual eye itself. So I'm going to select uh, just the center vertex here and I'm going to hold the left control and click the polygons and this is going to convert that vertex selection into a polygon selection. We can now click grow and then from here I'm going to choose insert just like this and uh, once we have that I'm going to choose shrink and I'm going to push this all the way in now nah, let me just looks like we still have the reflection all right looks like we have something still there and uh, pull this in to around about something like this and again we can just select that one vertex and just push it in just ever so slightly I'm going to choose grow and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to detach this and kind of call this I center this is where the uh, pupil and and uh, stuff like is going to be so once we have that we can now let's just unhide everything for a moment and uh, see what we have here so this is, looks like we have two copies of the eye, which is something we didn't want. And actually it looks like what we've done is, is we've, we've built on the reflection. So what we can do is just scale this outwards. Something like this, call this reflection. Hide that and then select the eye close the eye so once we have that we can um what we want to do now is uh, set up the unwrap for these so in order to do this i'm just going to reattach both of these for a, a temporary um period of time here i'm gonna go to unwrap uvw and uh, I want to select one half of this and actually I want to make sure I'm in the um, my key select tool and I'm going to uncheck this um, back face option so when we select half we actually get half the, the eye here as opposed to just a, a quarter of it I'm going to go down to um, open in editor and I'm going to right click and break this off just for a moment and uh, once we have that I can select this and uh, we're going to go down to uh, where it says planar and uh, I want to choose the right axis here and uh, we can do the same with the, uh, the back of the polygons here I'm going to choose invert and I'm just going to do the same here, I'm going to choose um, 
to just project them now you see that we have these um uh, the uvs are going to be overlapping and and that's perfectly fine because um in actual fact when you see this inside a character you're, you're never going to see behind um the back area here so i'm not really too worried about that and uh lastly just just for the sake of uh, making this look nice i'm going to add a turbo smooth and uh finally collapse this down yeah. Select the element and select the center of the eye. I'm going to choose detach. Rename this eye center. And uh, this one can just be renamed or kept as eye. We can um, firstly select this. I'm just going to apply a material here. And I'm going to unhide the reflection here. And I'm going to add a turbo smooth on here. And what we need to do now is uh, actually we need to edit the geometry. So let's just convert this to an Ezra Poly. And uh, we're going to select. I'm going to go through that same process of uh, growing the selection. And uh, what we're really doing here is just creating a slight inset. Just a very small one. And then we're going to choose to extrude this out just a little and uh, scale this just just like this so this is just going to give this a, a slight um outward bevel and um this is exactly uh, how um, this uh, should appear here uh, in actual fact this is going to be used to catch the reflection a lot so when we now go back to our turbo smooth Okay, we don't need to add any um, UVs onto this as uh, we're just going to be applying a plain material to this. And you see we are almost done. If I just go back to here, I just want to scale this in just a little bit more. And uh, what I'm really looking for here is uh, just something I'm happy with in terms of shape. I guess we can shrink this, pull this out. This might help a little. There we go. So that is um, how we're going to uh, have this um, for now. So here we have the eye all modeled and ready to go. In the next video, we will start to set up the uh, textures and materials and uh, build the lighting and so on and so forth. And um, we'll have something that looks fairly realistic. So thank you for watching. And um, until then, I'll see you in the next video.